God foretells events. Genesis chapter 41 verses 1 through 8. Then it came to pass at the end of two full years that Pharaoh had a dream and behold he stood by the river. Suddenly there came up out of the river seven cows, fine looking and fat, and they fed in the meadow. Then behold seven other cows came up after them out of the river, ugly and gaunt, and stood by the other cows on the bank of the river. And the ugly and gaunt cows ate up the seven fine looking and fat cows. So Pharaoh awoke. He slept and dreamed a second time, and suddenly seven heads of grain came up on one stalk, plump and good. Then behold, seven thin heads, blighted by the east wind, sprang up after them. And the seven thin heads devoured the seven plump and full heads. So Pharaoh woke, and indeed it was a dream. Now it came to pass in the morning that his spirit was troubled. He sent and called for all the magicians of Egypt and all its wise men. And Pharaoh told them his dreams, but there was none who could interpret them for Pharaoh. So here we have an account where God was speaking to Pharaoh through two dreams in one night's sleep. And both these dreams are speaking about the same event or events that are about to unfold uh, in Pharaoh's kingdom. So we see that God can foretell or give us a heads up of coming events, things that are about to unfold in our lives, or maybe in the lives of people who matter to us, or maybe even concerning our city, or our nation, or our region, that God can give us uh, insight into upcoming events through dreams. And we see a clear example here in these dreams where dreams had to be interpreted. They couldn't be understood literally. Uh, and so Fair was perplexed when he saw these images in his dreams um, of uh, fatted cows and thin cows, of a um, plump uh, stalk of grain and then blighted weak grain and, and, and he was trying to understand what these images meant and of course we know that Joseph came on later and interpreted the meaning of uh, what Pharaoh saw. The point here is this, that God can give us a heads up of things yet to come through dreams. He can foretell events. And there are numerous other examples in the Bible uh, uh, where God spoke to people ahead of time of things that were about to unfold. Many of the prophecies that we see in the book of Daniel came through dreams and they were prophecies of generations, thousands of years ahead of time. Uh, and God spoke such kinds of things in dreams. God will reveal things to you about your future, foretell things through dreams. Pay attention to it so that you and I can prepare ourselves and take the right course of action. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we ask that you'll help us pay attention to the dreams, to the ways you speak to us, things you give us a heads up on, foretelling things yet to come through the dreams we have. Help us to understand and help us to take action. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.